Sagittarius, hi. All right, Sag, we're doing a peek at your person. Uh, angel numbers, I am seeing 4, 4, and I'm seeing 11, 11, and 66. So you could be seeing those numbers. Um, all right, starting off with your person's overall energy. We have patience and accelerated motion, balance, rest and rejuvenate, disruption, and victory and success. Underlying energy, the devil, temptation, addiction, toxicity, toxic ties. All right, uh, Sag, <laughs> um, I'm hearing these songs uh, came in like a wrecking ball, Miley Cyrus, and um, Danger Zone, Highway to the Danger Zone, uh, Kenny, Kenny Loggins, I think. Um, I feel like this person like came in quick, came in fast, could have been disruptive or destruction, destruction, <laughs> can't talk. Um, I feel like something accelerated motion, something happened fast, quick with this connection, very fast. Um, maybe they swept you off your feet. Maybe it, it was toxic. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to dig in and find out. So Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay. Uh, also, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. All right. Uh, your person's starting off with confusion and not having any clarity. Uh, they are showing up as the emperor, so Aries energy, or I feel like this person, that could be temptation or this, this devil energy. They could be a little bit controlling, a little bit of ego about themselves, narcissistic. Uh, they could have been giving to two or breadcrumbing you. Keeping you waiting, keeping you stuck. I kind of don't like this energy like at all. Uh, could have been, uh, big drinkers, partiers, substance abuse, something like that. Um, there could be legal issues going on. Some of, for some of you, this person could be like locked up right now. Justice and eight of swords, uh, could be a legal issue going on. Um, Or they're stuck. They could be going through a divorce. You could have been married to this person and you're divorcing them. This person does like um, being in the spotlight or likes to get attention. They could be very insecure and likes to get attention. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. When I say your person, it could be flip-flopped and reversed. If you're cross-watching, this is a Sagittarius reading, so don't come at me in the comments. Thank you. All right, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could have been something with, like, drinking and driving or something about a car going on. I feel like this person makes very quick decisions. I feel like they don't think things through. I don't feel like they, I feel like they, they live in the moment. They live in the moment, but they create burdens. It's like a path of destruction behind them. I don't know. <laughs> Their energy seems very chaotic to me. Very chaotic to me. Um, let's see, what are the blockages between the two of you? Blockages, blockages. I feel like this person likes attention. Keeps themselves stuck in choppy waters. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sag, how? How did you, how did you deal here? They are very quick moving. Actions don't match their words. They're they create chaos. They, they move quick. They don't think things through. They create a lot of chaos. Self-sabotage, burdens. I 
I'm getting a lot of Cancerian energy coming through. Could be, could be Scorpio, Pisces, or a water sign. Could be placements in their charts, whatever. But it's here twice. This, this person is showing up twice. They're stuck. They can't move forward and like rebuild or be on the same page or work together as a team. This person, it's like they could have false promises or their actions don't match their words. They say one thing and do another. Ten of Swords, backstab, betrayal, painful ending, justice again. Eight of Swords again. This could be a very specific reading for some people. Either they're stuck and going through some kind of a divorce or they could be locked up again. There's some kind of backstab, betrayal, painful ending. Could have to do with drinking, um, third party situation. Third party is a person, place, or thing. I mean, I'm not necessarily seeing other people being involved. So I don't know if they're, I, I'm not necessarily getting cheating. I would have to say with this, the third party would be something of toxicity, addiction, drinking, partying, um, self-sabotaging ways. Cause again, I'm not, I'm really not getting like other people. Doesn't mean it's not true. You know, you know your situation better than I. All right, how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you, Sag? See, there is something with breadcrumbing though. Then I have children or something from the past. Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. This person knows that they created a lot of stress in your life. They know that they hurt you. Heartache, pain, disappointment. They know that they disappointed you. You could have a child together. Some of you. Again, water sign. Now it's Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Empress. Yep. You could have a child with this person. Or children. Or you have children. They see you as a very loving, caring, nurturing energy. They know they let you down. They know they disappointed you. They know, I feel like at this point, Sag, they know they can't change your mind about them or, or manipulate you or sway you to see them a different way. I feel like you you see their true colors. You see, you see them for who they are. And I feel like they know that now. Uh, strength, confidence, courage. They do see you as strong, independent. They also see you moving on. So good for you. Yeah, you had to make a head over heart decision. You had to be logical about this. Yep, rejecting and ignoring them. They're trying to come maybe towards you with a, a new cup of love. A new love offer, you're rejecting it. Closing out the cycle. Some of you could even be moving. Like moving away. But the world's here. Closing out a cycle. They know that you are conflicted. They they know that they caused chaos in your in your life. They know this. Will they change? Is it gonna change? I don't know, let's see. What are their actions or intentions here when it comes to Sag? Ten of Swords, victory and success. Six, so Ten of Swords, Six of um, Wands, conflict. Having to win at all costs. It's an ego thing, pride thing. Could be just an insecurity thing and overcompensating, trying to have attention from others. This person isn't a happy person. They could be suffering from like depression, anxiety, or something along those lines, some kind of um, illness.
What else is this person's intentions? I think they know that they did enough damage. They may just move on. There's something here with like an attorney, court system, stock. What did they do? I feel like it is specific here. What did this person do though? Wow. If, if they do, see the, there's that devil, and they're trying to heal. This stuck, it could be like a court ordered um, rehab facility, something for healing. So they could be stuck or tied up in that. So that's why maybe it's like, I gotta just let Sag move on because I'm, I feel like it's like court ordered or, or mandated for this person to get some kind of healing or help. Wow, okay. Whew. Sorry if this doesn't resonate with you. This, this seems like a message needed to get out to a certain group here. They're still going to be manipulating, though. They are going to try and talk to you, Sag. They are going to try and have a conversation with you. Their, their, their ways are not going to change. They're not going to change. I'm getting repeating toxic negative energy. Repeating. Self-sabotaging, manipulating, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing... Wounded warrior. This could stem from their childhood, something from their past, the way they grew up, whatever. Whatever it was that kind of wired them this way. They're going through something to try and help them change and get better and, and get themselves grounded and stable. I don't think they're going to change. I think this is who they are, and I think this is how they're going to stay, unfortunately. All right, so let's see. Sag, what are you going to do, Sag? What is Sag going to do? You're not going to talk to him. Single, solo, independent, you're not talking to him, and... I don't even think you're going to stress about this person anymore. I think you're over it. I think this person put you through so much that you're just like, I'm going to work on myself, focus on myself, children, if you have them, house, home, work, stability. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna let this like really bring you down. You're not gonna keep thinking about it. You're not gonna keep trying to fix it or change it. It, it happened. It is what it is. Um, I feel like you are going to maybe confide in like friends, friendships. Some of you may even be celebrating that this is over. Some of you. You're moving on though. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, but I feel like you are going to open yourself up to some new love, romance. Page of Pentacles. All right. Ace of Wands. Knight of Wands. There you are. A lot of knights and pages and healing, resting. Moving on to calmer waters. The Fool, what are you taking a leap of faith towards, Sag? Ooh, a King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus that you're, you're taking a leap of faith towards or moving on with. Could just be somebody who is very secure, stable, financially independent, um, hardworking. Could be a, a parent as well, have children too. I feel like this person has their act together. It is a complete night and day with 
this person that you are going to end up moving towards, if you're like, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have anybody, just give it some time. This person is coming towards you. Healing did come before this. So once you feel like you've healed, you, you know, you've kind of found yourself again, rebuilt yourself again, found your independence again, and start slowly moving forward and keeping your options open or allowing somebody to come in, they come in. They do come in. When, right? You're going to ask for when. When does this person come in? Uh, less than six months. Came in upside down. So within six months from now, this person. And I feel like this is this is a good connection here. So let's see what's the outcome there. There, this person is again showing up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, like all the Pentacles. Ten of Cups. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, you're not even gonna. This Emperor person that showed up, they showed up as an Emperor. It doesn't mean they're an Emperor. They showed up as an Emperor. <laughs> no, you're done with that. That's gone. You are moving on. I do have justice, so if you were married to this other person, that divorce may have been final, finalized, something like that, all right? You're rebuilding your life, and you're moving on to someone new. I have commitment. I have long-term happiness, long-term stability, family dynamic, house, home, commitment, leveling up, soulmate, twin flame, rebuilding, being on the same page. This is very stable. Again, it's like night and day. You're going from this chaos to this like almost perfect relationship, this perfect life. Like you are cutting, cutting out yourself a nice slice of life after this and you deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah. Could even, that could even turn to marriage. Yeah. You have aces showing up. You have like all the aces. Look at this with commitment. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant. This person's going to continue to attempt to talk to you. You're not doing it, though. You have a new beginning. You're going with the new beginning. I, got, now I feel almost like, oh, lighter, lighter. I can breathe now so all right let's see any clarifiers party celebration event public social gathering this person could have liked to party or now you really are just celebrating like a rebirth for yourself a new life single yeah single ready to mingle alone isolated lonely guarded but i feel like you are kind of embracing this being single I, I feel like you can breathe now divine intervention this all happened for a reason you learned a lesson that karma karmic cycle is being closed out you're all set mask hidden motive concealed disguise lying again they're not going to change they're going to continue to be like that they're going to continue to manipulate or whatever it is so you're making changes so change regeneration growth cycles date you're gonna put yourself back out there and you are gonna meet the one i feel like you are going to hang out with friends or rebuild friendships or get new friendships whatever that means to you new love mm-hmm New love, divine timing, yeah. Yep. Good, 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 good. Happy for you. All right, let's see. Letters could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, place it where you see fit. I have D-B-S-Z-F-N-P-A-U-O-W-V. So what was it? Uh, D D B S Z F N P A. U O V W. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, could be an age, could be an angel number. Place it where you see fit. 
All right, 1-1. One, one. I saw 11, 11 up here. I feel like you have a new beginning. You're manifesting a new beginning. Uh, then we have 3 and 9. So 1-1, one, one, 3, 9. So 11, 33, and 2. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 9, and 11, and 33. <laughs> Don't forget about the 4, 4, is there, right? 4, 4, yeah, 4, 4, 4, 6, 6, that came up before. Uh, so January, February, March, or September could be 12, 21, 13, 31, 29, 92, 39, 93, 91, 19. Place it where you see fit. Play around with the numbers if you want. All right, um... Let's see, zodiac signs. Could be strong placements in their charts. Something could happen during that season, like Sagittarius season. Could be their sun sign. Please let me receive it. Uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, and Capricorn. Wow, all the earth signs came out. You have an earth sign coming towards you. So again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Scorpio. All right, uh, Sag, that is what I have for you. Love and light. Take care.